Hello everybody, this is Oliver from NEO and today we are going to talk about a special topic and it is to brew matcha at a different temperature. So what I brought to you today is uh, the matcha sesui uh, from Mr. Nakai. It's a Yabukita matcha, so from one of uh, the most popular uh, cultivars, so tea plants or tea plant types called Yabukita. So this is a matcha which is rather complex. It has all of the different aspects of a matcha. It has the grassiness, it has the freshness, and it has also a little hint of astringency with it. So what I want to do today is brewing this matcha at different temperatures. So I have three different temperatures to use. This is here is 65. This is 75 and this is 85 so different temperatures and we will, we're gonna see how the tea taste will evolve so let's go directly into it um, I have here my sifter I have my I have my chawan just open the matcha up Place the sifter over it, and we're gonna take the first. Um, so we're gonna take around one gram. This is um, two chashakus, so a half of a coffee spoon of matcha. Just fill it up in a good amount. Good. Let's do this first one here. Just putting in it's so important to sift through uh, the matcha all the time because you like this you're sure it really has no crumbs and you have a very fine and decent matcha so we're gonna just take the first uh, the first water so this one here 65 degrees just pour all in um, then I take my chasen and I just gonna always this M form very important voila that's already done put the chest in here and let's pour in the first glass. So this is number one. Now let's directly do the number two that we already also have the same degrees. So again in. So first and second. Voila. Good. So also sifting. Do the same. Good. So this is number two. So we take 75 degrees. Pour it in. Voila. So this is number two. And now we take uh, number three. So this one here, we used nearly up, up all the matches. So I take a new one. So first spoon and second spoon uh, a little bit more voila like this 
Good. So we sift also this through. Good. Very well. So this is done. Now we take the water and we pour it in. Good. Very well. And number three glass number three as I don't have three bottom glasses I take just a third normal glass which I had so now let's go directly into this so we got the three um, glasses here we're gonna just taste them directly so having number one so this is now 65 degrees of water so let's taste this how the taste is There's a sweetness in the beginning, then there's coming a smoothness and very, very slight, light astringency, a little bit of grassiness, but not too, too pronounced. So this is a little bit the taste I have from this one here. Now let's go uh, to the second one. Now we're here at 75 degrees, so uh, 10 degrees higher. So here we got much more of the grassiness in the beginning. So here the, the matcha shows much more of its grassy note and there's a little bit more of astringency coming out. So with this one here, just to compare it again. There's much more of the sweetness. There's a little bit of a grassiness and a very slight astringency. So astringency is very low with this one here. Then Mm -hmm. So it's much fresher, much grassier. The sweetness is more down and there's a little bit more of a freshness also of fresh astringent tones coming up. So very interesting that from the low temperature, this is something I know also from the leaf teas, is that when you brew the tea at a low temperature, it's, um, it's really developing these slight sweet notes strongly. I didn't think that with the matcha would be the same, but it is really the very similar. Matcha is grassy. It is you drinking the whole leaf, so it is a grassy flavor. But here, really, you got the sweet tones really well pronounced, while here more the grassy and fresher tones are pronounced. And let's go now to the third. So the hottest, 85 degrees. Mm -hmm. Let's see the difference here. Mm -hmm. mm. Okay, now I got it. So really, so here definitely the grassiest also the most astringent matcha it's not strong it's just the freshest and there's the the, the the slight astringency which is like showing up in your palate is a little bit stronger but what's certainly the main difference is you go from very sweet to grassy and here you really got the strong grassy with a fresh note in the end so very interesting so 
actually what I can tell you is when you take um, a, uh, like a lower degree water so here with 60 degrees it's very the smoothness and then you bring out much more the grassiness also a little bit the stringency which is coming with bringing also a fresh tone to the tea a fresh taste um, so if you want to have a little bit more of a summer stronger summer flavor in uh, your matcha go up to 85 degrees then you have a very beautiful sweetness mixed with this grass the stronger grassiness and a little bit of astringency if you want to have a really smooth and uh, more sweet tone um, of your matcha really go down to 60 65 degrees so brew it at a very low temperature and even with the matcha which has a little bit the tendency of being um, a little bit more astringent you can definitely uh, bring out the astringency when you go down with the temperature or lower the astringency and then uh, if you're looking more for a little bit this fresh grassy note go up in temperatures about 80 85 degrees so that's the discovery i did this morning with the matcha sesui a very sweet matcha for a yabukita matcha but also with a strong grassy note yabukita is known for its different notes so it has a, a little bit of a stringency it has of sweetness and it has of grassiness and now i really played on the orchestra of uh, this uh, quite complex uh, green tea and where I can go from low temperature, smooth sweetness to a more grassy and a slight astringent tone going hotter in the water temperature. So I hope you liked this little video this morning. So um, if you have any questions, never hesitate to ask below. And um, uh, I wish you just the best day and see you. Goodbye.